so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video we are going to talk about how we can create a snow using the blender in build add-on that's name is snow basically so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial <music> So right now on my screen guys you can see we have a one model where i have add some snow here you can see that's look awesome by the way and here you can see we have like apply the all snow here you can that's look something like that but now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna select only the snow parts here you can see this is the snow parts and i'm just gonna delete this snow something like that yeah look nice and i'm gonna select this whole uh, tree all right and i'm gonna just separate it yeah so now i'm just gonna show you how you can add the snow in the uh, like in that tree basically so for that we have to just go to our uh, edit preference and from here you have to just go to your add-on section and here you have to just search the real snow and here you can see that is the blended in build add-on from where you can just create a snow in any object according to your desire basically all right so after uh, like enabling that add on you have to just select your object and you have to just press the n and here you can see you will get the real snow uh, like dialog box something like that so first of all here you can see there is only two options it's first is the coverage coverage is called basically how much area you want to cover of your um, like models so right now it is 100 percent and height is like how much like uh, deformation you need into your uh, snow basically so that is 0.3 okay you can increase that height according to your desire according to your environment according to your model basically that up to you how you can do that but right now we will work as a by default all right and there is one option is called basically selected faces so we'll definitely talk about after that first of all first of all we'll just see uh, how it's look like when we just gonna click the add snow on that model basically so here you can see when i'm when i'm just gonna click the add snow so here you can see it is it, it will take a little bit time and it will create something like that and it is not looking cool by the way because that is the by default setting which is we are getting all right so here you can see if i'm just gonna delete this now right now and we'll just decrease the like uh, what we can say height like one and now i'm just gonna select my object and make sure guys that uh, option will gray out if you not select any object so if you want to enable that add snow option so you have to just select any kind of object from your scene basically so again i'm just gonna click it add snow now here you can see that is way much better from the before because before is looking so much puffy and that's not working with us but right now it is working nicely but what if we need that kind of snow here you can see that is look nice by the way so again what i'm gonna do right now we are happy with our height basically but we'll just decrease the percentage of the coverage and let's see how the output will look like so what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna delete it again and again i'm just gonna select my tree and right now i'm just gonna like decrease my uh, coverage up to 70 no not up to not up to 70 up to 30 percent yeah and then again i'm just gonna click the add snow yeah so now here you can see now we can see some holes in between our like uh, snow basically so what we get exactly we have to just decrease the coverage from our uh, coverage section so i'm just gonna like decreasing up to 70 percent now all right yeah almost 70 percent have uh, decreases again i'm just gonna select it and just gonna click add snow now here you can see it's look okay okay there is no issue but now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna again delete everything right now we'll just add a uh, little bit coverage and again i'm just gonna add, add snow now here you can see that look awesome by the way all right so now you just get the uh, like uh, concept how you can add the like snow into your object okay and from which option you will get the more snow and from which option you will not get the uh, like uh, okay less is no basically now what i'm going to do there is one option it's called basically selected faces what is does exactly so right now here you can see what happening uh, if i'm just going to click the add snow so here you can see it is like adding the snow according to the shape of the model but what if we want a desirable snow according to the different places of that model so for that that option is like uh, useful so now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna my edit mode of my tree and i'm just gonna selecting some certain faces where we need basically snow all right i'm not gonna select in the all faces but some faces which is where we need the snow yeah here you can see something like that i think those faces where we need the snow you can just select according to your desire yeah 
all right so i have selected all the faces where we need the snow basically and now we have to just exit from our uh, like uh, edit mode and then we have to again select this option selected faces then we have to just click the add snow and now here you can see here that is no only added which places where we have select the faces basically all right so that's how you can use this option also and here you can see this is the final result which is i have made by this add-on basically and now what do you have to do you have to tweak all those settings and you have to just play around all those options and after that you will get the, that kind of desirable result which is you are seeing on my screen right now but yeah so this is the basic and this is the core thing which is you can do it and the one more thing the advantage of the using this add-on basically you don't need to create any kind of different material for that you will get the materials and the texture along with this add-on also so here you can see when i just add the like snow if i'm just going to my shader mode here you can see so right now on my screen here you can see you will get the by default like procedural snow uh, material along with this add-on also that's a cool thing which is i like basically so guys that's how you can create a snow according to your desire using this free blender inbuilt add-on so thank you so much all right so that's it for this tutorial guys so thanks for watching this tutorial guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and at the end happy new year to all of you and love you all